All right. Hello, everybody. Sucrose here. Today we're going to play The Long Dark. Hey, online hero. How you doing? So, yeah. So when I alt-tab from the game, the sound goes quiet, so you'll know, uh, you'll know when I'm looking at something else. But I think everything's set up and ready to go. Let me just check one more thing. Um, all right, so here's a game that I'm not particularly good at. Uh, it's such an interesting game, though. Uh, all right, looks like we're ready. Sound is back, but for some reason the music is gone. Hey, bad gamer. Um, oh, what a game this is. What a game this is. I'm not doing story mode. Story mode is for butts in a bad way. Let's do survival. And um, last time I played was in January. I've, I've played this game on and off for a couple of years now. It's, it's been in, in uh, development and early access for a long time. <clears throat> it's come a long ways in some, in some, in some ways. God, it's such a it's such a it's a game that really makes you feel things because it it slowly kills you and that's that's what a good survival game does. So um, there's different difficulty settings. We have to decide what we want. Um, so you've got like easy, medium, and hard, and then like hard for people who've played this for a thousand hours kind of setting. Um, I, I, they've added this new custom, which I just think is the bee's knees. And you can, so you can start with, right, so easy, medium. You can start with these settings and then you can kind of adjust them to get rid of annoying features is, is kind of what I like. Um, so there's a couple of things that I am not a fan of. Um, all right, so let's, let's do stalkers. So stalkers, the hard, the hard, like normal hard, um, interloper is the crazy. Let's start with stalker settings. But, oh, hear the crows? Do you hear the crows? Oh, they're coming, coming to get you. So I, it's, oh, there's so many things good about this game. Sometimes I, I hear a sound and I think, oh my god, what is that bird doing in New York City? Uh, that doesn't sound like a pigeon. Um... I'm gonna. So there's a couple of things. I, I'm, I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. Um, I like the idea that the weather is a little bit slower to change. Otherwise, it's like blizzard in the morning and then nice and breezy in the evening. <clears throat> um, I think fire should overcome ambient air temperature. Um, so I'm, I'm making it easier. For sure. Uh, all this stuff is fine. I, I'm not a fan of pests, uh, parasites. I've eaten plenty of deer meat, haven't gotten pests, pet parasites, and I also don't like cabin fever. Um, I, I just, these are really boring. So, but here's the thing when you get intestinal parasites or food poisoning, you just you take a pill and you go to bed for, for a while, and it's just super boring. So let's get rid of that. Uh, I'm not sure how that's different than the other thing, but okay. Um, I also don't like decay. <laughs> so yeah, you, you'll you'll wear some 
shoes, and then like a day later they'll be worn out. Um, otherwise, I think it's pretty good here. We've got the, the wolves are going to kick our ass. I don't know exactly how we'll deal with them. I usually play with the wolves turned off as well, but I'm going to leave them on, and we'll just see. So let's see. I I've kind of been kicked by this before. If you hit share code. I think it messes up the settings that you've done, or, or maybe that's just if you hit enter code. At any rate, you saw what I did. I'm going to hit confirm. And um, we can select the map that we start on. Um, I'm most familiar with the first map the game came out with. which is uh, Mystery Lake. And maybe maybe our first game should start with there. I have a feeling we're, we're going to die at least once today <clears throat> from the wolves. Um, but they've actually changed this map up since, since I used to play. Um, so there'll be some surprises. Let's try that. I don't know what that what that's about, but uh, maybe you can load a different ones. So there's a vague story. I think the the story mode explains a little bit more, but maybe even that's not fleshed out yet. But a geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? That's the story you need to know about. Um, you're the only person out here, and you've got to survive on your wits and and on your luck looking scavenging for stuff that people have left behind. <sighs> extraordinary people survive under the most terrible circumstances and they become more extraordinary because of it. Alright. So in this difficulty we start outside. The game is very minimal on the UI. I'll be hitting tab pretty frequently to look at the, the little pop-ups. But it's just it's a very kind of calm, chill experience. Um, I, I don't know the maps well enough to know even where we are. I think I want to say this is where this is like the original starting point, but I'm not really sure where that is in relation to other stuff. What we want to do is find the railroad. That's that will help me orient myself. Um, so how are you all? Online hero, bad gamer. What's up? Kind of looks like something, but. <clears throat> So depending, the game models where the wind is coming from and how cold it is and how um, hot it is. And you can take shelter from the wind by getting on the leeward side. Um, you see that our temperature is going down. Second one is uh, fatigue. Third one is water. And fourth one is food. Um, all of which are dropping at a pretty fast rate. <clears throat> Probably the first thing we want to do is find a way to, to warm up, get, get inside of a building, hopefully find some materials. You're good? I'm glad, Bad Gamer. Um, I didn't see you play any rounds with Delvina. Alright, so she's cold. I might turn up the volume a little bit. The music was super loud at first, but uh, I think I heard a wolf. All right, so we might die already. These wolves are... Oh, shit, what the fuck is that? That's a bear. <laughs> Holy 
shit, we found a bear already. I don't see the wolf. Um, all right, well, we found um, a bear and a wolf. Still know where we are. Um, and we're already about to freeze to death. Supposed to meet up with a friend to do duos? Oh, I see. It's pretty easy to get sprained ankles. Um, have to watch. Like what I just did was probably stupid. Um, I thought I saw something over here. I think. I, th I thought I saw maybe there was a building, but I was too scared by the wolves and the bear. Um, so there's the bear right there in the middle. Um, I see we've got um, okay, the bear is coming for us. Let's go this way, huh? Um, the bears are, well, they're worse, worse than the wolves. Oh, look at that. Let's hope it's close. Okay, it's nothing. Um, so, the little blue thing means that they're wet. They're a little bit wet. We don't have, uh, we don't have shit for clothes. Um, all right, we might just have to sit down and start a fire. You can, you can spend time in the cold for a while. And once this thermometer is at the bottom, you'll start to suffer penalties in that um, your health will decrease. And then when your health gets to zero, you die. But I think, true to life, if you don't know where you are, this game is a lot harder. I, I, okay, so we're hypothermia risk. Let's see. Does that... Good, that goes over the picture. Um, we're at risk of hypothermia. Oh, I see. I think I see something. still don't know where we are, and I kind of wonder if maybe if I've picked a map that I don't know. Oh no, okay, I know where we are. Alright, beautiful. So we, we didn't die right off the bat. Um, inside, generally, it's warm enough that you warm up, but actually it's so cold that um, we're not warming up. I'm going to go ahead and turn the sound up just a hair. Tell me if this is a mistake. But I'm going to I'm going to go up to like something like this and then keep the music low. Or maybe maybe do it at whatever. Just the title screen was super loud. So let me know if this is too quiet or too 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 loud. Okay, we've got a hat. Oh, a shirt. Oh man, I've never been so happy to see a uh, plaid shirt. And I like plaid shirts, let me tell you. Oh, his shoes. Well, let's just go put all this stuff on already. So, um, okay, we got the hat, the shirt. This uh, shoes are, yeah, way better than our sneakers. So each little piece of clothes that you find warms you up, although we're still not above freezing. Um, it used to show you actual temperatures. Oh, here you go. So if we can get this feels like above 32, then we'll start to warm up a bit. So let's see if we can find a couple more pieces of uh, clothes. Soda. Okay. 
Um, a lot of the Probably useful. difficulty or, or let's say decision making comes from dealing with the things that you find. You may not find the things that you want, you just have to make make do. Um, and that's that's one of the things I like about the game. Alright, so that might have done it. That that pushed us over. So now standing in a room, we're starting to heat up. Um, that's going to take a while. But um, it's, it's better off than we were. So there's three of these little trailers. We're going to check each each of them and then... Uh, God, never felt so cold can't go into bathrooms. Um, and then uh, we can sleep in one of these beds to warm up a little bit more. It's still a little low? Okay. Uh, I feel like her voice her voice is kind of high to me. But uh, so I'll, I'll drop that and then let's go all the way up to 60. How's that? Doesn't that really get you? So I believe it started to, to blow outside. <laughs> All right. So hey, lurker. Must be prepared for anything. If, if this is too this might be too loud for me I might have to turn it down on my end I don't have to turn it down for you but but let me know if uh, let me know if this is good so we didn't really find a whole lot of anything in this room uh, we can break down these crates by hand it's 15 minutes that'll warm us up a little bit and give us wood I'm gonna go ahead and do one of these okay look look how minuscule. Uh, the amount of warmth we got. Right, let's, let's go check the third one. Oh lord! Okay, so this is this is why it's so loud. Uh, usually there's stuff in here. See anything else? All right, so this is the third one. Jesus Christ! So if you've never played this game, this is a taste for for how it looks when it's at its ugliest. Okay. And and now you understand maybe why I switched that setting to. Uh, don't change weather so quickly. Like it's it's bad enough like this. It was fine a few seconds ago and now we've got a blizzard. Got some jeans, that's nice. Oh, oh, energy bar. This stuff will come in handy. Some more shoes. Sadly you can't wear more than one pair of shoes. Um, I should have cleaned my screen before I started playing. It's a little bit dark. Uh, but I don't see anything. Check under the bed. Sometimes you have stuff that rolls under there. Well, overall, it's not a terrible haul. We found some, some clothes. That's pretty much it. So we've got these three pairs of shoes. Both of these are worse than what we have. Um, you can tear stuff apart. This takes an hour. Um, and 
and um, I'm think I'm thinking about doing it because what else are we gonna do in this blizzard? We can't walk around. What time is it? It's almost night. Yeah, let's just tear let's tear them apart, and then we can sleep through the night. So what's the game about? And how do we win? Um. When you, so the first thing is you can't you can't win, which I know some people don't like. Um, it's nighttime. We we must have started the game a little early in the day. I mean late in the day. But I can barely make out. I really should have cleaned my screen. Let me uh, <laughs> hold on just a second. Let me just wipe down a little bit of this dust. All right, that's that's much better. Um, yeah, let's see. What was I saying? <laughs> so it's it's nighttime. Um, we can't do much, you know, out in the blizzard in the dark. So we're gonna have to spend the night here. Um, pretty much the game is all about surviving. Uh, that, that means generally you have to be on the move to find stuff. Maybe once you find a, a, a all the basic necessities you can hunker down for a while but the game tends to tends to keep you on the on the move because it's very hard to actually survive um, there's almost never enough food that, that's that's mostly what it comes down to but you have tools that you need to to try to maintain and, and all these things require um, supplies that you have to go find so in some ways it's like seven days to die but without zombies um, it's like a it's like a quiet darkness instead of um, attacking attacking you a lot about staying warm got a bunch of fire stuff um, you can you can like I say sprain your ankle. You can get uh, infections of different kinds and wounds if you get bitten by a, an animal. I mean they can just kill you outright, but you can get wounds and the wounds can get infected. Obviously clothes to keep you warm. We've got some shitty socks. Um, this is our food supply. We're a little bit uh, on the low side. We've got. Chocolate bar and energy bar and two sodas. Um, we have a bed roll, a can opener. Those are useful. That's pretty much it. That is uh, all we have in life. It's kind of early in the evening, so let's see if there's anything else we can do in our um, in our inventory before we. Uh, it seems to have stopped. Oh, there we go. Uh, nuts and stuff with liquid sounds nice. Uh, let's see. Could make could make some some tinder plugs out of sticks. That's pretty much all we can craft. If eventually, if you actually manage to kill a wolf um, or a deer or a, even a bear or a moose, you can make clothes out of out of their hides. Um, I think we'll be lucky just to, to escape for a while at least. You, there's actually, you can find a gun in the game, but there's generally speaking very few bullets. Um, and so you wind up having to hunt with a bow or um, you can trap rabbits. Now you can throw rocks at rabbits too. Um, how, how are these boots? These boots are really good quality. I'm going to go ahead and just tear down these other running shoes because you can use leather to repair stuff and I'd rather have the leather. Oh man, the storm's getting worse. Alright, and our food is pretty shitty, our water is pretty shitty, so let's go ahead and eat and drink something. Stacy's grape soda, full of high fructose corn syrup.
We'll probably have to s make a fire tomorrow. I'm trying to decide where we'll head. But we're gonna be... I, I hope the storm stops. Um, generally speaking, you don't want to sleep too much because if, if something happens, you can you can die in your sleep. Um, like if it gets too cold, you'll just die. Um, all right, so it's still dark. We're very thirsty. But, but we're not very tired. Yeah, at least we have an alarm clock. Uh, but if you don't set that alarm clock, you're kind of screwed. So I think the door is here. Oh, shit. I'm going to see if we can make me make a fire outside. That's pretty nice. I mean, it's cold, but... Um... So maybe we can yeah let's let's um let's make a fire here and we can we can melt down some snow and get some water oh we don't have any tinder Ooh, i should have done that in, indoors but it's not too cold outside um the arrows go from one two and three three is the the most severe um all right, so let's see. They're all 40% chance. We have some accelerant. Oh, I see. Uh, reclaim what is the lowest chance of success. We have some accelerant, but maybe we should save that till we're in an emergency situation. This is not really an emergency situation. So let's um, take a charcoal. Oh, she's cold. Man, I, that's one of the crazy things about this game is it's like, I mean, I'm kind of cold. It really makes me feel cold. All right, so we have a 55% chance of success, which is not high. I mean, I <laughs> you're welcome. For, for explaining, 55% is not high. Uh, nothing but the best commentary in the Sucrose channel. Um, as you sort of do things, you, you can skill up. And you get better as you practice. You actually only get better when you succeed, which is kind of nice. But hey, we're lucky. So oh, yeah. let's add... Honestly, uh, we're going to add all of that, and we're going to melt some snow. Okay, see how thirsty we are? I should have melted less. Uh, but now I'm going to boil it. So it, it's kind of a weird to pro process. If you, you can drink it just if you melt it, but um, it, it can give you an infection. But this is clean water now because we boiled it. And we can quench our thirst. And, and how much did we drink? We drank a fifth of a, a gallon. So, yeah, we've got 50, 40 minutes left on the stove. This is an important resource. We've put wood into this thing, so let's use it. Um, Let's do like 2.2 gallons. See if we can boil and, and melt uh, what we just drank. Uh, and as you can imagine, water is quite heavy. Um, I realized that you can't see these buttons, but the buttons just say like boil water. It's not very interesting. Let's go ahead and do it again. Maybe put in that last stick. Actually, I think we're going to get it. Beautiful. So we got six, six minutes, five minutes on the clock. 
Um, I think that's good. We've got as much water as we can drink for probably a couple days, 10 pounds of water. Now we need food. That's the next thing. Looks like halfway between night and dawn. Let's head back to this. I, I'm, there's no way I'm going out adventuring at night. So let's head back in here and just sleep for another hour or two. At least till we can see a little bit of something. I can't see anything. Let's, um, let's try two hours. I want the sun to be coming up. It's warmer when when it's daytime. Um, yeah, beautiful. Sun is coming up today. Um, kind of surprised we didn't find any sort of cloth stuff. Usually you find like a like a rag or something you can you can use to patch clothes and stuff. But all right. We're, I'm just going to go ahead and eat this. I'm pretty hungry, and I'd rather just eat it. And it's always safe to top yourself up with water. You, you don't drink too much or anything like that. Now, if it were vodka, it might be a different story, but can't can't distill vodka in this game. All right. It's cold as balls. So see how the it's three 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 down. It's actually colder than it was last night. Um, it, it, you might not think so because it's so bright. But So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spend a little time around here. Um, we're going to get the coal from the fire. You can use that to draw maps. In fact, let's, let's just, just show you how it works. See how our temperature is dropping? I think this is 15 minutes. Pounds, gallons, Fahrenheit. Sorry, online hero. Um, I'd switch it, but then I wouldn't understand. <laughs> um, I, I'm sure. I'm sure Google will help. I always, I always figure a pound is about two kilo. I mean, it's not. It's not, but it's that's the only thing I can remember. Um, I mean, a kilo is two pounds. Sorry. <laughs> See, I can't remember shit. This is why. This is why I just stick to one. Um, all I'm doing is I'm gonna sort of forage for whatever might be available here. I don't see shit. And then we're going to head back into the little house to warm up. Because I can't I can't stay out here much longer. Uh, don't don't want to spend time breaking that down. Let's see. A liter is about half a gallon. Right? Uh, Fahrenheit? I, I, I have no clue. You're on your own for that one. All right, so we're no worse for the wear as long as you keep it above zero. You don't start to take health penalty. Um, we've managed to keep our to, and you uh, you rebuild a little bit of health over time if you're in good status. So it's kind of like The Sims, but life matters. So let's let's do like an hour's sleep and then we'll see how the weather looks. Hopefully it's warmer. Uh, and then we'll try heading to the next sort of outpost. I think I hear a little wind. It's triple, triple cold. Um, so at this point, you should be able to see the kind of decisions sleep so much yet. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. Um, the kind of decisions that I have to make, because on the one hand, we have zero food. I mean, I've, I ate the last Snickers bar. Oh shit, it's a deer. If only I had some way to kill it. 
Um, I ate the last Snickers bar. And we have to find some more food. Um, uh, but on the other hand, it's cold as balls. And if I walked around and, and, and got lost, which is very likely, uh, probably would die. So um, it's not even clear necessarily what the safe thing to do is, because everything seems like a bad option. But I'm going to give it another hour's sleep. We need to get our heat up. So if I'm going to risk this, I want my heat to be all the way up. Uh, at the at the very least, let's let's try another hour, sleeping in all our clothes. It used to be that the clothes that you were wearing would degrade on you. I, this might even still be the case, but I, I just don't give a shit. When you're sleeping, the clothes degrade, or they used to, and so people who were really min maxers would take all their clothes off, go to bed, sleep, put all their clothes back on. Not gonna mess with that. So her stomach's growling, or my stomach. All right, I have a feeling it's gonna be cold. Ooh. So it's only two, two down arrows. Let's, let's do one more hour, and that way my heat will be at the top, and no matter what, we're gonna leave. Cold as balls and I'm sleeping naked. The bed gives you a little bit of warmth. So if that's enough, then then you can take off your clothes. All right, what do we got? Could be a blizzard. All right, it's snowing, which is bad because that that'll make you wet and then you can get frostbite. Frostbite is permanent. Um, we have the option of running. And running um, makes you winded. It makes your rest, restfulness go down faster. But I think we're going to be okay-ish. How do you know if you do things the right way? Uh, I mean, there is no right way. The right way is whatever keeps you alive. And one person's decisions. Uh, one person might make one decision and another person might make another decision. Maybe they both stay alive or maybe they both die. The game is pretty punishing. Um, I like the story that develops. <clears throat> yeah, there's a day's counter. A lot of people sort of compete for how many days they, they've stayed alive. I don't want to be on this ridge. Why am I on this ridge? All right, look at this. Look at this. We see a little bit of... I don't want to be on this ridge. Let's hope we don't break our ankle here. Um, a little bit of civilization. Got some railroad tracks. This is the, called the train loading area. We've got some electrical poles. Um, some kind of little train car here. Let's check this out. Uh, I see a wolf. You see the wolf straight ahead? Oh, fucking sees me. Fucking shit. Okay. That thing... That thing was really far away. Um, I have, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. We might die. <sighs> um, okay, so our health is at about 40%. The wind is picking up. <laughs> the wind is picking up. Um, it's insanely cold. We don't have any food. <laughs> Welcome to the long dark. Um, 
Need some first aid. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. Let's see. Um. Shit. How do you even do it? First aid. Let's put on. Let's put on antiseptic. Oh God. Do you put the band-aid on first and then the antiseptic? I can't even remember. Damn it. That treatment did not do anything. Okay, we'll put the bandage on. Oh, it's a sprained wrist. Antiseptic's not gonna Why help the sprained work? wrist. Okay. Alright. Um shit. You can't jump, so sometimes that you'll get stuck on little Um, Jesus, dude. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. This game is this game is intense. So we've got a couple more trailers here. Let's see if um, if we can if we can, if we can survive. <laughs> um, what we really want to find, I think, is a way to make another bandage. I think I'm I'm not very good at this game, uh, so that's good. A book. Okay, online hero uh, is laughing at me. That's okay. That's okay. Um, looks like nothing's there. Newspaper. Um, pork and beans. Hey, we're not going to starve tonight. Oh, condensed milk. First aid kit. First aid kit. Nobody needs this anymore. Antibiotics. We might need those in a second. Um. That's all I see in here. So you can tear this stuff down if you have the right tools and get supplies from them, but uh, don't have the right tools. All right. So painkillers. Let's take that. I don't even know. Pain. Yeah. Um, it says healed sprained wrist. Oh, you see it. Okay. That's It's not that low. Um, what other entries do we have? Infection risk wolf bite. So we need to apply antiseptic to it. Oh, we've almost used it all. Yeah, you're alone. Um, in survival mode, you're alone. All right, we cured all our afflictions. So that means that we're not going to get infected. We're not going to, like, hobble around. But our health is at 40%, so we have to stay in good condition for it to heal, for it to heal you back up. That wolf was so far away, and we ran as soon as we saw him. So this, this difficulty setting does not fool around. Um, I hate wolves. Wolves are the worst. You'll notice there's no bed in here. Um, we can't we can't just sleep on the bed. We have a bedroll. But I'm gonna check the other trailer before I before I go to sleep. We need to get our temperature up. Fucking are you serious? Okay. There's another there's another wolf. Um so all that stuff I said about checking the other trailer, it's gonna have to wait. Um Let's eat something, I guess. So... Um, let's eat these, this condensed milk. So yeah, I think I, think I answered, but there's, there's no other people. If you do story mode, there's other people. It's like supposed to be before the disaster, I think. But in survival mode, there's, there's no other people. Um, Actually, that's not true. There are other people, but they're all dead. You can find corpses. Um, all right. Milk for dinner. Condensed milk. So I don't know if you've had condensed milk before, but it's pretty good. Very sweet. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, so the wolf, another problem with wolves is that when they attack you, they tear your clothes up. It looks like we didn't lose any clothes. But the condition um, on the clothes probably deteriorated um, on some of the pieces, at least. 
So let's see, how are we doing? Half, half hungry. And we're so cold, we're numb. This is, this is... This is not a great start. The wolves are not supposed to be very thick in this region. But this is what we're dealing with. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sleep for an hour. Like I said, I'm gonna, you're going to see me sleep a lot. Um, and hopefully the wolf will be gone and will be warmed up. So, uh, where is it? Where is my sleeping bag? Food, tools, tools, place. Okay. And then let's just try an hour. This will give us a little boost of heat. And I'm pretty sure the wolf should be gone by now. Sounds like it's not even blowing outside. Um, okay. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm so scared. This is supposed to be a survival game, but it winds up being a terror game or horror, whatever you want to, however you want to put it. All right. No wolf. That's what, that's what we're hoping. No wolf. Look at that fucker. Okay, bad luck. Bad luck. We really... I was really hoping... So there's a building. Um, it's, to our, it's to our left. It's over here. My hands do nothing. You, you see my hands moving, but they don't mean anything. It's, it's, over, it's over to the left. Um, and it's got a lot of supplies in it. And I was really hoping we'd make it there before night because it doesn't have any light. Um, and it's also really cold. So it might have to wait another day if this wolf isn't going to give us some space. So let's, let's just do the thing again. And hope that hope that he leaves. Um, we should be fine waiting for another day, but it means that we have to eat our, our beans, and that's that's all we've got. Let me go ahead and I'll figure out where all this stuff is in just a second because I literally haven't played in like four months. Um, just top this up. Anything that you drink means you don't have to lug it around, and the weight makes you slower. The, the, the more you carry, the slower you get. All right. Uh, I'm going to break that down. Let's get, we need some wood. Are there any more in here? It just takes 15 minutes. All right. Okay, here we go. The fuck? It's like he's. It's like he's waiting. Should be. Oh shit. Oh fuck! What the fuck? How do you open doors? How do you open doors? No, seriously. How do you open doors? Oh my god! <laughs> how do you open doors? I can't open doors. How do you... <laughs> I've, been, I've panicked so much, I don't know how to open doors. Um... Uh, so, okay, <laughs> this is not a good situation. I don't know how to open doors, and um, the controls don't tell me anything. Is it, is it the mouse? <laughs> uh, 
How come there's no controls? Key bindings. Oh, thank God. Interact. Left mouse button. Um, <laughs> it's just like, you know, when, you, when you're scared, like everything you know just disappears. Um, I guess it's just left click. All right. It's just left click. It's just left click. It's just left click. Close, close, close. Wait, did we do it? Where's the ball? Oh, there he is. Um. So. Look, we can we can observe. Them. Well, we didn't get to see what was in the other trailer, but we're over here, and that's that's ultimately where I wanted to go. So let's let's explore. Holy shit, that was just like adrenaline fueled panic. Um, all right. So in this game, when you see birds flying around, it means there's a corpse, generally like directly under. Um, this one is frozen. And so we can't use our bare hands to, to cut it up because it's frozen. We could build a fire to warm it up. And get some deer hide and, and some meat. Um, the problem is... It's, it's late in the day. You see how it's turning night on the top right? So I, w I would rather look in here and see what we can get. It's probably, it might be dark in here already. I don't know. Because we, we, the only light source we have are matches. And obviously you don't want to use them up to, <coughs> to search around. This will come in handy. So, this is a big dam. A lot of the stuff you can tear up. If you have like a hatchet, you can break that box over there and get some wood. Great sounds. Um, now this is usually a good place to find tools, sometimes some cool clothes, but because of the difficulty setting wrong, we might not find a whole lot of anything. Uh, looks like that's empty. So, yeah, I have to kind of get I have this little bit of glare on the screen, and it's dark enough that I can't okay. see. But I hope uh, I hope it's not too dark for you. Cardboard box. We'll try not to leave any anything unsearched. This stuff will come in handy. <laughs> I was saying before it's. It's actually like seven days, but without zombies. Um, hi, Delvina. Oh, we found some cloth. All right, that's good. So, Delvina, you missed like the most exciting start to uh, to a long dark game. We fought off a wolf already, and we've almost frozen, starved to death, and. Ooh found some bullets. Don't have a rifle. Uh, anyway, everything that can happen, we've already uh, dealt with it. Two, two wolves. Um, also, we're going to take toilet water because that's the kind of person I am. Now, generally, 
it's okay to take the water from the tank of a toilet, but you don't really want to take when there's a tankless toilet like this. There's, this is not good water. Don't don't take this water in real life unless you really need water. Uh, but the water from the tank is fine. Here, just pro tip. Uh, survival tips and secrets. Alright, we found a, like, nothing here. Okay. Um, let's search this floor and then we'll go up to the next floor. Just <laughs> more nutrients. Um, uh huh. You talk a big game, Delvina, but uh, I'm not convinced. Okay, coffee's useful, but it's not really what we need. I can use this. Claw. It's, 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 it's getting dark. Oh, I hit the. Okay, yeah. Okay, cellar. Ooh, a lantern. All right, now if we have to, uh, we can find our way around because we actually have a lantern. That's that's a pretty good find. Um, all right. Now there's probably little things that I'm missing in the nooks and crannies, or even not in the nooks and crannies, just like out in the open. But I'm blind. Oh, this is a good thing to search. Nobody needs this anymore. fishing line, or you can use it to, to sew up wounds if you, if you get a hook. Don't see anything else though? Now with this workbench, you can make stuff. Like we can take some bits of metal and make a hook, and then combine it with the line, and, and we get a well a hook and line. Like I said, you can use it to sew up wounds. Or clothes, or fish. Maybe, maybe not wounds. Maybe I'm making that up. But you can, <laughs> you can use it to fish, and you can use it to fix clothes. I'm not sure about wounds. We'll, we'll, we'll find out if the time comes. Some of these lockers are closed or, or locked. That's why they call them lockers. Um, we need a pry bar. Uh, it's, it's so dark. It's so dark, but I feel like adjusting my contrast is cheating. Hmm. Oh, now this is interesting. Um, let's say we're exhausted and we just need to go one little bit more. It'll give us a little pick-me-up. Another little workbench. Oh, a sewing kit. Now that's really useful because we can patch our clothes. Uh, like those socks that were busted. And if you let them break, I don't think you can uh, repair them. So, just like with your body, preventative maintenance is a good idea. Um. All right, it's like pitch black over here. Ooh, a safe. Um, let's come back for the safe. So you can pick the lock. You can pick the lock. Oh, that's good. All right, with tools you can repair certain things. Um, she's reminding us that she's hungry. I'm gonna have to whip out the lantern here in a second because it's so dark. I, I'm not even sure if I'm missing. Oh. Um. Did we go over here? I don't think we went over here. I 
don't I don't want to waste my lantern fuel <clears throat> unless I really need to. But it's just it's just about that time. Um, so online here, are you uh, do you play this game? It seems like you know you know the controls. All right, I, I can't see. So, oh, windbreaker. I'll take it. I, I can't see anything. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lamp on. Let's see. Space. And then there you go. And if if we look at it. Ninety-five percent. Uh, very good, very good. Got some boots. Oh man, look how nice it is. Look how you can see crystal clear. Uh, crystal blue persuasion. You can find all the little bits and bobbles we missed. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go up the floor. And then we'll, like I say, we'll come back for the, for the treasure chest. Let's see what's down here. Never know what you can find. This game is, um, although the maps aren't random, all of the, all of the loot, is random. So sometimes you'll find a gun in some place, and sometimes it'll be in another. Uh, let's check it here. You panic with me? Yeah, I, th there are people who are good at this game. This stuff will come in handy. Um, there's a guy on Twitch who I, I watched briefly. He's he's so calm and soothing. He's a fantastic guy. Um, and he's like a prodigy. Oops, no, no. He I saw him shoot a a trick shot. He took the bow shot it up in the air and then got the wolf to come to him and the and the when the arrow fell back to the ground the arrow killed the wolf it's just like okay that's uh that's impressive um may, maybe if we had a bow and arrow we'll try something like that but uh Right now, it's gonna be it's gonna be running. Man, not a lot of stuff in these lockers in these uh, cabinets. Kind of disappointing. Oh, first aid station. Nobody needs this Okay, a bandage. I'll take it. Oh, pork and beans. That is perfect. Alright. Driving gloves? I'm going to go ahead and put gloves on. Oh, and the parka. Uh, da -da, da -da -da. I think that's, that's good. Yeah, so our temperature is still pretty low. But it's going up. I'm pretty happy as long as it's as long as it's not going down. But this this dam can get cold enough to where you'll actually freeze to death. It, it might happen overnight. Um, but luckily we have a uh, our sleeping bag. Mm, this will come. Oh, a tube. That'll replace replace our hat. Oh, super warm. And stylish to boot. And that's that's that is what the Canadians say, right? To boot? Oh, it's a boot, sorry. <laughs> oh, I really enjoyed that. 
Um, how did I forget that left click opens doors? How interesting. How interesting. You, you literally left click everything. And it's, my brain was just like, I'm pretty sure you press E. It's what it said. I'm pretty sure. We've been in this situation before. Oh, no, stop. And I'm pretty sure we pressed E. Oh, come on. Give me some, like, snack bars or something. Yes. So I'm, I'm starting to think maybe what we should do is is ransack this place and then go outside and tear the deer down um, during the night with a fire. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'll take it. It seems like it might be a good idea. Um, all right, I think that's it for this room. I'm sure I missed some stuff, but that's all I see. So we're gonna head our head our head our way, make our way back down. Get the safe, and then check out the the main dam area. This is actually a really big area. We should we should look. Yeah, see, we missed this in the dark. A rifle cartridge. Um, every bullet is valuable. Um, just like every sperm is sacred. I don't know if you've seen uh, Monty Python, The Meaning of Life. It's pretty good. All right, let's turn this off because I, I pick locks better in the dark. There, oh, oh, shit, where'd it go? <laughs> if I can fucking find it. All right. Um, I can't remember the directions that you turn it, but basically you just turn it until you hear a click. It's honestly a pretty boring mechanism. Okay, so uh, let's say just just shy of thirty. So we'll reset it, and then, okay. All right, so 30-10. Okay. Alright, 30 10 0 basically. Oh, we went all the way. Okay. Alright. What do we got? It's usually good stuff. This stuff will come in handy. Ear rat med. That is great. This goes into a slot that, that most clothes don't go into. Uh, we got an, uh, uh, a bullet. Okay, that's I'll I'll take that. Um, we're over we're overweight. 
uh, overburdened. But look how stylish we are. Okay. Um, so let's check out... How late is it? It's actually nighttime. We might not get to that deer until morning. Maybe that maybe that's going to be okay. So th there used to be a chance to find a wolf in this building. Luckily, they took that out. But his name is Fluffy, and um, you can imagine I nearly shat my pants the first time I encountered a wolf in this dark, narrow corridor. Uh, we can make a fire here if we need to. All right, so this is this area is kind of crazy. It's like a bunch of fallen shit, and it's become sort of a maze. Uh, a maze that I don't really know. So you have to stumble with me here. But there's a chance to find a gun. It's also a chance to get stuck in the um, in the wood. Um, we're looking for tools, uh, the gun. If we could find a pry bar. That would be awesome. All right, we want to get over there. How do we get over there? Okay, we just walk. Um, so we can climb up. I'm going to go through that door. I know there's a way to get up that ladder. But maybe you have to... Oh, no, I think this is it. Okay. I'm not really impressed with the pickings. Energy bar, I'll take it. Speaking of which, Jesus, that food is low. Go up here. <clears throat> Nobody needs this anymore. All right. Clothes are always welcome. That's the room that we ransacked earlier. Um, man. Whew, this pack is getting kind of heavy. We've been pretty lucky with the bullets, which means that we'll never find the rifle. <laughs> okay. Sort of running out of fuel. I don't. Um, I'm, I think I said this, or maybe I was just thinking it, but you can fall off and you can break your ankle. Did I say that? I think I said it. Ah, another two. Um, that's really lucky. Yeah, three. So, three degrees. Um, so, if you look at this. Feels like 36. That's like practically toasty. Okay, so that's 
Right, that's how you get back in if you go outside. Now, how do we get down? Still not too heavy that we can't run. I'd, I'd love this cloth, but we're kind of fighting time. Seems like the flame is flickering. I think that means um, oh man, that's all our oil. So this is it. So we, we really need to know where we are when we run out of oil. Like we don't want to be lost in the dark. Um, if you go out of here, you can't get back in. Which is. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Pretty rough. But uh, you can find a way back in. use feathers to make arrows. <clears throat> Not by themselves. Of course. Don't see anything. Right, so going even deeper down. Sometimes there's like a knife. A lot of attention <clears throat> after you survive the first couple days comes from your tools, and your tools run out <clears throat> and need to be repaired. Um, hold on just a second. And okay. And so then you have to go and, and uh, find ways to either make new tools. Or, or tools that you don't find that you need, like a hatchet. I had this one run that was, I don't know, 50 days into it, 80 days or something. I hadn't found a hatchet. I'll take it. And so there's certain things you can't do without a hatchet. Like, um, break down certain things. Ooh, a scarf? I think, does that go on your head? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, these t-shirts are colder than what we had. Not sure what is over here. Okay. 
This stuff will come in handy. Okay, work boots. I think work boots have a different trade-off from the trail boots. One of them is warmer. I think it's work boots. Okay, that book. If you read that book, you get skill points for shooting better. <clears throat> and it takes time, of course, to read. Nobody like a day, two days. The hoodie. Um, the hoodie's pretty good, I think. The hoodie's pretty goody. But actually, it's not better than the... We'll have to repair this. We walked away and now we got fire. Well, not for not for much longer. This is the last of our fuel. Uh, we're just trying to scavenge everything we can until it runs out. Nobody needs this hey, anymore. soda man. It's the stuff of life. Oh, whetstone. That'll sharpen the knife. Oh, we're really sitting pretty now. Okay, so... Half of the fun in this game is kind of seeing what you get, and then um, dealing with it. That was sewing kit. I really want these cloths. Throwing a lot of feathers away. I don't know what that's about. <clears throat> I'm vaguely starting to worry that we're actually going to run out of fuel before we get back to the entrance. Pretty deep in this thing now. But uh, I think that's the end. So, um, okay, I think we'll be good. So we're going to make our way back to the entrance. We're going to take stock and it's, it's in the middle of the night. So we have to decide, do we want to... <clears throat> go dress that deer or um, or go to sleep oh it's a torch well that's something didn't see that before um, Still not so heavy that I can't run, but it's getting close. You feel how sluggish she is? She's um, she's being weighed down, and that's making her tired at a quicker rate. Um, Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. He's got another lantern. What else you got for me? Broken arrow. So these are the other people. Looks like this lantern is fuel. Beautiful. Uh, thank you. Oh, another arrow. Oh, broken arrow. You have to wonder what went on, you know, that there's a broken arrow and a corpse. Probably he tripped. It happens. It happens more than you'd think. Um, this is my walking speed now. It's crazy slow. Alright, so we're going to go here to the entrance. We're going to sort of sort through our... Uh, yeah, we're going to sort through our inventory. And drop some of the heavy stuff maybe that we don't need immediately. Sadly, you cannot eat corpses. Yeah, I, I kind of, I don't know why. Because if you want to survive, you know, it just makes sense. Um, plus the taste. So I, I don't know really why they don't let you.
think it's starting to flicker. So... Um, we got pretty much everything except for the locked lockers, I think. Alright, I'm going to kill this in front of the locker. How do you kill it? No, that's not. Okay, it's pitch black. Maybe he broke his arrow. Had a panic attack, which caused him his heart attack, which caused him to suffocate. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, maybe he forgot to open how to open doors. Um, Alright, so... This may or may not be tedious for, for you watching, but essentially we have 87 pounds and, and we don't want more than 60 pounds. So I'm going to sort by uh, weight. And the heaviest stuff we have is water. We'll drink that up. Um, can I... So I don't think you can take the fuel out of the lantern without deconstructing it. Sadly. Decent trail boats. So we'll get put those in. Um... I charcoal is not useful except to draw maps. I think. I don't think it's uh, it's used for anything else. Uh, we'll get rid of these stones. Now this is a UI thing that drives me nuts. If you if you try to move it, your cursor stays on something else, and so then you have to click it again, and it, it it's it's kind of maddening. Um, all right, we don't want these two t-shirts. In fact, I'll put that near this and there. We'll come back here if we ever need these things. Um, hopefully, maybe. All right, what else we got? What are we down to? That was not a whole lot of weight. <clears throat> this torch sucks. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of the food. So these flares can be used to fend off the, the wolves. Um, some of these things I want to keep to repair. And I kind of wonder, maybe I, maybe I should get, get rid of these shirts and make, um, make cloth out of them. So let's let's check out the boots. So 1.5, 1.8, 1.8. But those can be repaired, and then they'll get warmer. Um, the problem is we suck, and it might waste a lot of time, and it might waste resources. So probably, maybe we want to wait on that. Um, but we will equip these. And so we'll stuff these in there for now and, and maybe come back for them. Let's tear down the shirts. Ooh, 30 minutes. Oh, that's repair. Ten minutes. Perfect. What version of this game is the most current? Um, I don't know. I just have whatever Steam, is the Steam, current Steam version. Oh, we're getting we're getting really hungry. Uh, and she's tired. Okay. Um, I don't think we're going to address the deer tonight before we sleep. So what can we do? Well, I guess we need to eat. And maybe...
dog food. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, what's the next thing to take a soda to? Alright. Still, we're still overweight. And actually, our max weight is going down because we're tired. Um, but I'm going to put some of this in the fridge. I mean, the fridge. It's, it's a locker, but you know what I mean. Um, that, that's pretty close. Alright. Now. I'm going to sleep for the night. If I can find... Let's uh, start with four hours. Hopefully it'll get a little bit visible so that we can do the last couple things we need to do in the um, in the locker and then head out and and, and with all uh, with good luck the wolf will be gone. I can't imagine the wolf would stay around for a day. All right, beautiful. All right, so first things first, let's let's eat. Um, actually, let's not. Let's let's hook those up on the fire. So I think we'll try to get the, the deer. You found version one point two nine. You found it. Just like lying in the in the road. Uh, uh, okay, we're under we're under 60. Uh, can leave that there. Uh, we're not going to be using arrows for a while, so let's leave that here. That's not even that. Uh, it's not heavy, but it, we don't. Um, the scarf. Okay. <clears throat> so now here's the hope. We go outside. It's not ridiculous. It's not blowing like crazy. And maybe we can get that deer. If it's even still there. What's that mean? Oh, that's what I'm holding. Okay. I'm scared to go outside. It's so nice and calm and... I'm so alive indoors. And things try to kill me when I go outside. All right, it's triple arrow cold. Snowing. Uh, let's pick up a couple pieces of wood. We want to make a nice fire. It seems to be gone. Oh, no, here it is. Okay, so 4.3 pounds of uh, meat, a hide, and gut. All of these things are useful. So let's, um, let's make a fire. Let's see, where's the best place to do it? Maybe here? So wind can blow out your fire, especially if it's uh, like a blizzard. All right, matches, tinder, 
the book is uh, helps you start fires really well. All right. I didn't see the chance. Something like sixty percent, I think. Maybe seventy. Well, Come on, little fire. So we're gonna melt. <laughs> we're gonna melt this deer. Um, and then it'll be easier to harvest. All we have is a knife. It'd be nice if we had a hatchet or um, a saw. Okay. Let's put in... An hour 40. All right, now we have this fire. Let's um, let's make a little bit of coffee. Coffee will help you stay awake. I think it I think it makes you lose less tiredness. And even better, we can cook this tin can of beans. Maybe we should have done this later. This is not strategic, but oops. Um, Whenever you warm up food and you eat it, it gives you a, a, a bonus to food. A bonus to heat, I'm sorry. Um, for a while. Whatever. Yeah, we got this, uh, see it over here, warming up. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and drink. Now we could make more water and, and put it inside. Maybe that's what we'll do if we don't have anything else to do. 72% frozen. Um, let's uh, let's walk around while that's happening. And we can uh, chop up some of these branches. So sort of trying to take advantage of the time, uh, of the fire time, you know. Don't let it go to waste and sit around. 47% frozen. Alright. Fine. We'll use this fire to cook the deer as well. Which is why I put so much wood on it. Don't really see much else to do in here. Usually there's stuff like mushrooms or things to, to pick up. That's kind of dangerous, but... Oh, fuck. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Um, I didn't realize it was that cold. Alright. This, this deer carcass is totally um, good. I'm going to get all the, the gubbins. That's going to take an hour, six minutes. What do we have here? I think it's not that... Much, yeah. Uh, so let's put in oh, sure, I'm getting cold. some of that reclaimed wood. Okay. I hope that keeps the fire warm because. Well, let's just do the meat first. Alright, good. So we see we're warming up. <coughs> and. Got rid of the hypothermia risk. This deer is completely gutted. We have an hour left. Um, so I'm going to cook the meat that we got. When you cook it, it gets a bonus to its like quality. So it was kind of, yeah, it's moldy, it says. 
But that'll go up when you cook it. And we only got those two pieces of meat, but I think it was worth it just for the just for the hide. Go ahead and eat them both. If you carry around meat, the wolves will actually be more attractive, which is kind of crazy considering how bad they are already. We've got 14 minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do give me another 0.4 gallons of water. And then we'll head to the next destination. Hopefully hopefully nothing will stop us. Still looks weather looks okay. Um But for some reason, I feel like it's about to blizzard. Okay. Feels like 106. Okay. Um, all right, we're ready to go. Our health is, has only gotten to 41%. It was at 38 after the wolf attack. So if we get attacked by another wolf, we'll probably die. Hey, Joey, how's it going, man? Have you finished exams? What's going on? <clears throat> Let's see if we can get to that second trailer. Does anybody see a wolf? If you see a wolf, tell me. Uh, eight to test Thursday and another on Tuesday. Um, calculus. What else do you say? Okay. Uh, did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? Cause this wolf is fucking tenacious. How can how can a wolf? be so wolfy. I don't even see him. Shit. Should we try to run back to the to the fence? I'm gonna try to run back to the fence. Um. Okay, it's only a little bit cold, but I do not see this wolf. Is there any way we can escape? It's start really starting to snow. I mean, we're trapped. Um, environmental science and calculus. Environmental science. What is that? Can I escape? This is this is gonna kill me faster than the wolf. Oh, but at least we'll get a good view. There's the wolf. How is he still there? It's been a day. Do you have a home base or do I wander? Well, we just started, so it's only like, I think the third day. All right, 
Um, I'm going to die here. I don't see the wolf. Oh, that was a that was a heavy fall. It's like a shot of adrenaline to the heart, straight to the heart. Um, the wolf is eating and isn't interested in you. I wish that were the case, Liana. Did you see it chasing me? It, it, it caught me and, and uh, I mean, it didn't catch me. It saw me and it started to, uh, yeah, that was scary. Um, well, this is where we're going to live. He can crawl, but you can't jump. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird that he can't jump, or she. Um, we're never going to be able to leave this trailer. I don't even think we can make it to the other trailer now. Luckily, we have a can of dog food. Oh, you know what? I think I think we should try to um, to use the flare. Oh, speaking of which, speak of the devil. All right, so let's see what we've got, okay? We've got a knife and um Okay, that's that's, you know, that's nice. Actions. Let's let me go ahead and refuel this. So we have these three um, flares. So is this thing constantly hunting you and trying to outlive it or kill it? Uh, no, it's just one of many wolves, and it just so happens that this one is near me. <laughs> we actually were we were attacked by a wolf on the way over here. Why do you look like a clown? I wish I knew. Oh, you mean in game? Um, I don't know why the character is drawn like a clown, but I I find it a little bit strange. I feel like it doesn't really work with the uh, with the with the aesthetics of the game, but um, what are we what are we gonna do? Just gonna pass a little bit of time. Maybe we'll actually wait the night, and we'll just try to repair some stuff. Um. And that way when the wolf inevitably attacks us. Maybe not all of our stuff will get destroyed. Last clown on the planet. Nobody to trick and make laugh. How very sad that is. Uh, <laughs> um... All right, we have enough food. We're fine. Oh, failed. We have enough food for the night. So, shit. All right, I think that's all of our, that's all of our cloth. Did we actually loot this? Oops. I don't even remember if I looted this place. It looks like yes. Um... Oh, there's two doors? Oh no, that was just in there. I don't remember checking under the beds, but... 
Um, yeah, Joey, so uh, if you haven't, I, I, I take it you haven't played the game. It's like a um, survival and wilderness survival, so there's, there's no other people or enemies or anything like that. It's just mostly wolves and bears and there's moose. <laughs> and But usually what kills you is starving or freezing to death. Um, so the wolves are incredibly aggressive. I have the difficulty turned up pretty high. Um, and this wolf has stayed here for like a day and wouldn't let us pass. Um, but if we can just get past, we can go back to trying to live off the land, which is, I think, more, more interesting. Um, Liana says, you can go the way over the bridge. The wolf won't attack you. That, I mean, I understand you. I don't believe you. I think that wolf is going to attack no matter what. We, when we started the game, we were chased by a wolf from like all the way from the train loading area all the way to the bridge, basically. And that wolf chases the whole way, finally caught us and attacked us. Um, they're super, they're super aggressive. Angry moose. Yeah, the moose are, moose are very mean. Okay. The wolf is eating. You say that, Liana, but the wolf, the mo the wolf walks towards me. Um. All right, let's grab a couple things to eat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat the dog food. It it's gonna come. This is on hard difficulty. The wolf is gonna come from across the map and attack us. It it like the other the other wolf um, was just barely in sight and and chased the whole way, uh, ran the whole way. Um, all right, food's up, water's up, we need to sleep. And, and I, I guess just, uh, just wait till morning, really. I'd love to read, but it's too, it's too dark. So, yeah, th this is kind of a, uh, you know, the game. Um, well, thank you for the advice, Liana. We'll see what happens, because I'm probably going to try to leave. We're not using our time super effectively, because we're just, um, we're just sleeping. All right, we haven't even made it three days. Actually, Joey, it's two days, 12 hours. Since we started sleeping so early, it's still dark. Um... <laughs> AKA the long dark. <clears throat> All right, we're fully rested, and I think that means we can't sleep again. But we can pass the time, which means that you, uh, I think, burn all the calories. Yeah, so you only burn half the calories when you sleep. When you pass the time, you burn all the calories. Um, it's still, as you can tell, far too dark for me to go run away from a wolf. Um, let's see if there's anything else I can do. Don't have uh, any more things to break down. Let's see if it's too dark to read. Yeah. 
it's too dark to read. Um, it probably means it's too dark to repair my clothes. Actually, I don't think I can, right? Yeah, I don't have cloth. Can I get cloth from pillows? Shit. Um, all right, let's... Let's pop this open real quick. Oh! I don't remember searching any of this. All right, but there is a pillow. Okay, you can't even break down the pillow. Well, gosh darn it. All right. Can't sleep. It's past the time to... Oh, it's blowing outside. Are those sounds fantastic? It really sounds like the windows are shaking. All right, all we have for food, well, including the sodas, I guess. We've got the sodas, and then a granola bar, and a can of pork and beans. That's all our food. Um, It's triple, triple arrow cold. So I'm going to go ahead and do, well, actually, first, let's, let's do the repair that we wanted to do. Let's repair these. Well, we, we fought a wolf before, Joey, and it brought us down to 38% health. Um, before that night's sleep, we were at 41%, so it would have killed us. But actually, now we, we can fight the wolf now that we've slept. Um, so it's a good idea, but it wasn't a good idea last night. Um... I think that's it for our cloth. Class of her things I can only make the wolf laugh. I can tickle it. Yeah, look how warm we are though. We started the game at like 27 temperature and I think it was 32 feels like. And now we've got um, 43 feels like. So we're doing much better on the coldness side. Uh, we also have a knife, which I think uh, helps you against the wolf. Still super cold. I'm going for it. I don't hear him. We have to go through where the other wolf was. So we're not out of the... He's going. Not out of the dark. I mean the uh, whatever. Um, there's a bunch of cattails over there that I really want to get, but it's way too cold. Um, cattails 
are kind of great in this game because they don't degrade. Unlike everything else, you can keep them forever. And they're pretty light with respect to how many calories they have. Um, so they're kind of like a fantastic food. But it's far, far too great. In fact, I'm going to run. Uh, I said far too great. I mean far too cold. Oh, they're frozen. I'm pretty sure I heard an animal. Oh my god. I can't get out this way. Is there a plot how this person got out here? Apparently there were electromagnetic storms that downed your plane. Um, we have to go. It's too cold. If we have to fight him, we have to fight him. I'm, I'm uh, sneaking. Oh my god! All right, it's too cold. Uh, he's chasing. Ready to click. That's my stomach. Um, there is a story mode, Joey, but we're, we're playing a survival. It's like a sandbox version. I think he gave up. I think he gave up. Um, we're about to start freezing. Wow, I really thought we could get a lot further before this. Um, maybe we can make a fire in that train car? Uh, but yeah, you're supposed to be some kind of a pilot, and this is somewhere in Canada, and um, you can actually find your plane somewhere. Jesus Christ. I know it's cold, but come on. Okay, rifle ammunition. Um, I think I can get inside one of these. Oh god. This one. Oh my god. Look how slow it's moving. The wind is actually blowing. Alright, still too cold. Um, let's see. Holy moly. Um, some of my stuff is wet. Let me let's see if we can make a fire. Oh bullshit! You can't make a fire in here. All right. So now I have to decide: should I try to make a fire in the snowstorm, or should I try to run to the next place to um, to get to get cover and. I think I'm gonna run. So th there should be a house up here, a cabin. Um, wow, the, the weather really took a turn for the worse, huh? Alright, I can't sprint anymore. I'm just tired. The game keeps reminding me you're cold. 
Oh, there's a deer. Alright, alright, alright. I know you're cold. I know you're cold. But you're also so hot. Um, see, we're fine. This is pretty much the third place that I know of. <laughs> so after we ransack this place, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot harder to, to do anything. Um, but let's go ahead and try to pick up what we can and please, if we're lucky, hopefully, get a lot of food. Otherwise, we need to go pick cattails. Tomorrow, that's, that's probably what we're going to have to do. Uh, but there's usually a bunch of stuff here. Ooh, a magnifying lens. That's a good find. You can use that to start fires when the weather's nice. Good stuff coming and in it me. never degrades. Um, whereas, if you run out of matches, you're kind of screwed. You. I don't think you can start a fire unless you already have a fire or you have something else that starts fires like a fire starter you know if you run out of matches and fire starters you're, you're dead so this is probably going to be our base of operations um, so to speak Man, we have so many bullets. We've got to find a gun. Uh, candy bar? Condensed milk? Yes, yes. Uh, another can over there. I can harvest the curtains. Yep, I, I will. It just takes time to harvest the curtains. Um, I think we have a couple more pieces of clothing to up to repair. But you also don't want to repair too early, and then you find something, find better clothes. Then you've sort of wasted your time. Um, I don't see a whole lot more stuff down here. All right, but there's an upstairs. Now upstairs is usually closed. Okay, book. Okay. I'll take it. Thermal underwear. That's good. We don't have anything in that second slot. I think. Beautiful. Now I don't know, you know, who of you live in a carry much more climate where thermal underwear makes sense, but I lived in Illinois for a while and man I love me some uh, thermal underwear. Or long johns as I call them. Um Beansy and I came up this way in the summers when we were knock-kneed, goofy kids. We fished and played with swordsmen out of sticks, wove leaky baskets from the reeds. You could row across the lake. Those little cabins at the far end where the tourists came and fished, hunted the deer and had their parties. We stood behind the counter and watched Dad welcome them, looked at the guest book and read the names. When the summer was nearing its end and the cattails turned to fluff, we blew our wishes into the sky. Always to come back. Always. Contributed by backer number 4,675. 4, Thank you, backer 4,765. Um, I think I'll leave that there for the next person. 
Another bedroll. That's a cool find. That means we can leave a bedroll somewhere. Like in the... Uh, in the dam. So, I haven't talked too much about it, but weight is a big thing in this game. And you don't want to be running around with too much stuff. So, whenever you can leave things behind, it's, it's, it's a good idea. Well... I mean, we got the Long Johns. That's something. But otherwise, it's kind of a disappointing haul. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and put some stuff away. And then we'll see, see if the weather's improved. Um, so let's put... Like a bit of water in there. Maybe we'll do food. You have to figure out how to organize stuff. Maybe we'll do food in the top one. So let's put all the coffee. Do the tea. Ha, ba, ba, ba. Okay, let's do fire stuff in this one. So we'll put newspapers, some plugs, put some of that. Um, okay, and then over here we'll build a wood pile. Now you could put these in the lockers, but it takes up Excuse me, it takes up a lot of space. So we'll just drop these on on the on the ground. Can I ask you where you come from? I I come from America. From I'm originally from the South. Uh, is that uh, is that what you're interested in finding out? All right, let's drop let's drop some of our bigger tools and supplies. So like we don't need to carry around. Oh, that's not what I want. How do you do that? Oh, I think you just do you just do drop and then you do there we go. Uh, let's let's tuck that wouldn't that isn't that cozy in there? Yeah. Oh shit. Perfect. Um alright, we've got we've got a couple more these fire things. So how many flares do we want to carry around? Well, these wolves are a real problem, so I'm going to carry two. Um, let's see, I'll put the storm lantern. How do you do it? I can't seem to move it. For some reason, I can't move the storm lantern, so. Put that down. All right, so let's put. Um, we don't need the can opener. We don't need the bullets. We don't need more than one sewing kit. I don't think we need any whetstones. Leonard has enough fuel in it, I think, for anything we want to do, so we'll save the fuel. Okay, so we still have a lot of weight on us. Um, so let's... I'm not sure if we searched this, but let's put the medical stuff in the med thing. 
So we'll keep one of them. Is that a good idea? These are actually really heavy. How can we tell how many days have passed? Uh, you go to the storybook, and it tells you everything that happened on each day. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it tells you where you went, you know, where you visited. Um, it tells you stuff like that. We've only we've only survived two days, I think. So I'm not really sure why there's four here. I guess they don't count your first day and your last day. I don't know. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure it shows you where you when you got attacked, but. It just says it just says injuries sustained. You can't see it because my uh, base is in the way. But so we sustained three injuries because we were attacked by the wolf, and then we went down to condition thirty-eight. Two days seem like a week. Yeah, I, I know. It, time flies when you're having fun. Oh wait, that's the opposite. Um. Okay, so we put we put our medical supplies there. Oh yeah, okay, so we got that deer hide. Um, we have to dry it. Shit, where is it? Fresh deer hide. So we drop it on the floor, uh, and that'll cure. And the same with the gut. And we've got this nice little bench. Let's put some stuff in here. We can put in our scrap metal. Used to repair stuff. Put in feathers. Um, it's pretty good. We're down to 45 pounds, which is still a lot. Oh yeah, okay, so we've got all these books. We don't need all these books. Let's put books down. Um, probably don't need the cedar firewood. Now I apologize for that little glitch. It's really gross looking. Okay, I think we'll only carry one of these books. Maybe we'll put that in tools. I don't know. Um, it'll be a while before we get the gun, probably, so I'll bring this. All right, starting to make progress. Let's put the cured leather over here. Actually, do we have... So I think we left the work boots at the dam. Well, we had a lot of stuff. Okay. 39, we're under 40, that's pretty good. Um, if we get rid of these, which I think I will. Okay, so, did you ever decide what you're doing for Tony Well, no, I, 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 uh, I'm interested to hear what people think, because I, I don't know. I mean, maybe the right way to think of it is we don't have to do a challenge. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I feel like... I, f I wish we could keep working on that same colony, but it's crashed twice now on stream, so I feel like we... I, I, I can't do anything. So... So we have to start over. So if we start over, you know, should we... 
should we just maybe try to do it as fast as possible and just get to the end game where we make stuff or or should we do a challenge I don't know um, the no, no building tiles challenge or something all right I want to put some clothes in here we've got this hoodie we want to repair these in fact I might even save the hoodie just to repair and the fleece mittens I think they're better than the driver's gloves um, all right so let's grab at least a couple pieces of cloth I think I can wait 10 minutes except every dude well we kind of did that already because that's what happened in our um, in our first colony dig the full map I think that might get boring don't don't you it's pretty much pretty much just digging the map uh, I hear what you're saying Joey so you think it would be fun to see me fail <laughs> think it'd be fun to see me struggle. Um, that makes sense. All right, let's... Uh, I really wish that they would tell you, like, maximum if you repaired it, but they don't. But I, I want to say fleece mittens are better than driving gloves. Right? It's got, it's got to be. Uh, well, I'm going to do the hoodie first. Let's do the hoodie first. Repair, beginner. It takes an hour. Damn. Well, we might not go out tonight, though. Okay. Decent hoodie. Let's see, let's see how that goes. Oh, shit. It's actually worse than the plaid shirt. Okay. Well, I wish I knew that. Um, all right, let's try to repair the min mintons. 69% wet, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> all right, they're warmer, they're warmer. They're warmer, but they seem to have a tendency to get wet. But I guess these were frozen solid, so. All right. What else we got? We got these long johns. We're going to be, oh shit, we're hungry. I mean, thirsty. And hungry. We need to find a place to rest. We're going to be so warm tomorrow. All right, let's eat some stuff. Yeah, I I got you, lurker. I got you. I don't think I didn't think you were just randomly saying that. Although you know, um, Jesus, we're, we're really not doing well on food. All right, let's... What do, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We're quickly losing maximum uh, pickup strength. So let's... Alright, I'm gonna put that down. Yeah, so for some reason right click will move that, but it didn't move the other thing. And then what was I gonna put in here? Well let's let's put these in here for now. Um Okay, and these are going to be like the tools that we use when we go out and need them. But I'm not going far out, so I'm just going to grab this. We're under 30 pounds. That's pretty good. 
We can do better though. Oh yeah, drop these tools. Put them up on the tool counter. What else we got? Pro probably don't need, I mean there's still stuff we can get rid of. Um, I'll put these clothes away. And then I'm going to head out and see if we can just get a couple of cattails. Maybe that's not a useful thing, but that's what I'm going to do. All right, 26 pounds. Very nice. We're super tired, so I'm not going to go out for long. In fact, it might just be too cold. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. It's perfect weather. Look how beautiful this is. The deer and the birds. Isn't it nice when things aren't trying to kill you? So this little lake um, has all sorts of neat stuff on it. And these, my friends, are cattails. Ever so delicious. They're nature's hot dog. <laughs> Uh, hey, Jess BRB. What's going on, man? Uh, have you ever, have you ever had nature's hot dog? Oh, let's, let's get a, let's get a couple of rocks. Now that we don't have anything in our inventory, carry some rocks around. So, um, you can you can hit rabbits with the rocks if you can if you aim right. Um, shit, do I want to go out there? I don't. I don't think I do. Um, and that's a pretty good way to get a couple of calories. And have to watch myself. I like picking these things up too much, and so I just kind of keep doing it. Um, now here's the thing: they don't grow back. Pretty much everything in this game is designed to eventually run out and kill you. Um, Liana, thank you for entertaining me. Please forgive my very bad English. I learned 30 years ago. Wish you good night. Uh, no problem, Liana. Uh, Thanks for thanks for stopping by. I hope uh, I hope you um, come back another time. Please uh, please follow if if you want to hang out again. I stream almost every day. So I'm just gonna just gonna grab a couple of these, make you feel a little bit more comfortable instead of starving tonight. Um, you can also make soup out of the rocks. No, I'm just kidding. All right, wind's picking up. Wind is picking up. Jesus. I'm also almost exhausted. So, it's not very late. Oh God. Well, that, uh, you've never heard of rock soup, Worker? It's delicious. When you're really hungry. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much more we can do tonight. Boy, the weather just got horrible. Oh. Um, Liana, thanks for the thanks for the follow. I hope I hope I see you again. All right. Well, let's do a last little bit of putting away and, and, and repairing. I think there were a couple more clothes that were pretty run down. These socks are ragged. Let's uh, let's repair those. 
Now, this is something the game doesn't tell you, but I think you fail more when you're tired. Even if it says it's easy, I think it'll... Um... Oh, shit. Okay, well, it just got really dark. And now you can see me goof around trying to figure out how to get up to the bed. I think... I think we're going to the bed. I'm too stubborn to light a match or the lantern. Boom. See? Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Um, let's start with two hours. I wonder... It's, it's a shame that it's so dark in this cabin. Certain buildings are more or less dark at night. I think it's just meant to be a feature. So they don't want any one building to be like perfect because then you everyone would go there and everyone's story would be the same. So every building has problems. Um, this one is super dark but um, it also um, it, it's pretty close though. It's got a lot of stuff that you want, like a bed. Um, it doesn't have a fire pit though, I think. Right? The dam doesn't have a bed, which is kind of a big deal. Um, but I don't think this place has a place to make a fire. Or no, it has a stove. Yeah, it has a stove. So what's the downside of this place? I don't know. It's kind of far away from everything else in the game. This is sort of at the edge of the map. There's a bunch of different maps, and this is at the edge of all the maps. Um, we need more water too. We left all the rest of the water up at the. Uh... Can you just build a bed? It seems easy. You think, but no. Um, you have that mattress, you know, that the sleeping bag thing. You can't build those, but you can repair them. Uh, it takes cloth. Eventually, you run out of cloth, is the thing. Uh, not that I've gotten anywhere close to that, but everything eventually runs down. Um, it's so dark, and we're going to finish sleeping. Actually, we might not. We were so tired that we might be able to sleep through the night. One of the problems with this place is that it doesn't have very much storage. But that's maybe not a huge issue. So eventually, well, people people like to talk about that on the forums, about how to survive indefinitely. There are... There are ways, but... Um, it's It doesn't seem to be like guaranteed survival. Like, uh, and it depends on the difficulty level. So on, on easy difficulty, you can just fight wolves to get food, um, and they don't hurt you very much. So you could just keep eating wolves. And then you just basically take off your clothes, go fight a wolf, and... Um, but that won't work on this difficulty. Um, certain things that last forever, like, um, 
the magnifying glass lasts forever, but it only works in good good weather. So like I couldn't make a fire right now using the magnifying glass. So if you let the fire um, go out, then you, you might be screwed because you run out of matches. All right, we're going to go up this little hill. Sometimes there's some stuff up here. And I think we have enough time to get back before we die. You probably hear me clicking like crazy to get these. Tons of snow, yeah. It makes me wet. All right, lake trail. I don't know if there's any animals up here. I honestly don't know. Because um, it opens up into like a little clearing. Seems like a good place for nasty stuff. It's, it's such a pretty game. It's like this cold, um, this cold beauty. And I don't mean because the game is cold. The game's about cold temperatures. It's just, it's like the beauty of stainless steel, you know? Like you see something made out of stainless steel and you think, oh, that's beautiful in such a really cold way. Like the Terminator is beautiful. Um, I think this is the right thing. You can probably imagine it's insanely easy to get lost. And I've, I don't want to use any maps for this, um, for this stream. So once we move away from this area, it's going to be, it's going to be a whole different game. So there's like this little cave. Yeah, there we go. Dave's quiet clearing. And I was hoping there might be something here. There's some wood. Backpack. That's good. Uh, the snow lasts forever. Yeah, it never melts. Um, if that's what you mean. And you can always get water from snow. Alright, well that's all... That's pretty much the only thing I knew about over here, so... I'm gonna head back. We need to make some water. Speaking of water... Yeah, infinite water. It just takes, well, it takes a fire. So if, if you have a fire, you have infinite water. But if you don't have a fire, you don't have any water. Um, so it's, a, you have to have fire. Look, you see your footsteps. And I honestly have gotten lost and then seen my footsteps and followed them. And then wound up going in a circle, following my own footsteps, and died. Like, that's... How cool is that, you know? What a cool... It's just it's just such an interesting game. I, I talk about, like, what makes oxygen so interesting. And, and I think for this game, it, it really lets you build a little story. This thing happened, and then I had to do this because this because I ran out of so and so, so I was forced out of this. Oh, it's so interesting. Um, all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna essentially use up all of my heat. Anything else? I thought there was another branch around here. They say I hate being cold because I really do. She hates being cold. All right, so we'll make a fire. Um, Damn, that's freezing. Oh, we missed this. It's a line there. 
Um, we'll get some water. I think that's our first priority. We only have 10 matches. <laughs> so, like, we have all this talk about theoretically infinite fire and all this bullshit. Well, we've only got 10 matches. Like, if we um, fail to start a fire, that's, that's a lost match. It's kind of crazy. Um, okay. I'm actually surprised that we found so few matches. Usually you'll have about, I don't know, 30, 50 matches by now, but bad luck. And that's what I mean about the stories. Like all sorts of stuff will happen. Maybe maybe we, if we had been attacked by the bear at the beginning, uh, we'd have had to do something different. <clears throat> that's what's so interesting. All right. Beautiful. Perfect. So let's put different kinds of woods have different properties. Uh, but I'm probably going to try to use sticks mostly. Because they sticks do come back. Um, let's do point two. It's a nice fireplace. Yeah, a little pot belly stuff. Let's put in. A couple more sticks. I think that should be enough. Oh my god, look at our food. So... Let's hope it's good weather outside. Because we've got to go get some food. We've got five cattails. Um, all right, let's put some of the water away. Let's put... That's, that's more than enough. Um, oh, we have the sodas. Okay, let's grab a soda. That, that, we should be fine. In fact... Yeah, let's, let's keep the soda. All right, let's make a little pile for sticks. Let's make that here. So let's just drop like, we'll, you know, we'll pick more up. And then the fur. Okay. All right, so our goal today, if we can do it, is to go to those little cabins across the lake and scavenge there. Um, I'm not sure we're going to find food, but there'll be cattails on the way, which is food. And we should find some pretty good clothes in the cabins. That's what I'm hoping. All right. How, how, are, we, how are we doing? Is there anything we want to drop? We're wearing all the stuff. Um, I think we can drop the reclaimed wood. The, the danger in dropping all of your wood is that if you need to make an emergency fire, it, depending on how emergency, you might you might be s screwed. So I think I think I'll just keep it just to play it safe. Pretty heavy. I'll drop a book. Um, All right, what is that? What is that? That's 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 good. Oh, perfect weather. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick break, just like a minute or two, and then we'll head across the lake to to the cabins and see see what we can find. So, I'm going to be back just a minute and see you then.
All right, we're about a uh, break time, I guess, in a few minutes, so I'll let it pass. But thank you, Larka. I appreciate it. <coughs> All right, let's see what we got. So, perfect weather for an expedition. You know, at least this minute. Uh, but who knows what's going to happen? We're halfway across. So, we we want to be in the lookout for cattails. Um, they're, they're mana from the gods. Looks like a sweet little cabin. I think you're looking at the fishing cabin. So what they do is they cut holes in the ice and then build, I mean, they build a little cabin and then cut holes in the ice inside the cabin. So the floor of the cabin's ice. You'll see what I mean. Just to keep you warm when you, uh, when you fish. So you can fish in this game if you've got a line and a hook. And you can actually go out to these little holes. Um, I don't see any cats. Oh, there's some. So you can fish and it basically takes a bunch of time and has a chance of breaking your line. And I want to say, and maybe I'm making this up, because I've never done it before, but I think you can turn fish into oil. Maybe like cooking it gives you oil or something. I'm not sure. But you can use that to fill your lanterns or something. But eventually you run out of fishing equipment. Um, it takes metal, those metal pieces, to make a hook and... There's only a finite amount of metal in the game. I mean, it's big, but you probably have to play for thousands of days. Um, I believe that we'll probably find wildlife out here. And, oh, speak of the devil. Luckily, that's a nice one. It's just a deer. Um, they're not very smart. They're not even very deer-like. They kind of just, they'll like run into stuff and run in place. Um, eventually we want to check all that, like, so if you follow this river, I think you go back to the dam. And we'll want to look at all of it for cattails. But for now, our, our goal is to check out this, uh, this little lake. And avoid getting wolfed. Kind of curious if there's anything up here. Ooh, there's something. I think that's a bear. It looks too lumbering to be a wolf. Okay. Um, generally, I'm more scared of the wolves than the bears. The bears will kill you, but they won't really chase you unless you've provoked them. At least that's been my experience. I hear the I hear the crows, but I don't see them. Oh, there they are. To see what they've. Uh, they've circled. And stop here. Um, <clears throat> usually can find some stuff like fishing line. The soda, the line, the sewing kit, those are all nice. Firewood, 
A hatchet. What a great find. So a hatchet can be used to do a lot of stuff. Um, like anymore. cut a hole in the ice to, to go fishing because it freezes up. Um, to, to cut apart a carcass. To cut some wood. Um, it's pretty great. Easy game over, yeah, for real. Uh, we might as well, we might as well just quit and say we won. Is that cool? Cattails, cattails, keep me alive. The first few times I played, I didn't realize that they were cattails. And, I mean, not just first times, like first months. I played a lot before I got it on Steam. I'll, I'll leave you figure out how that's possible. Um, oh man, cattails are just... So they just changed the game. Delicious and nutritious. I keep hearing little crack, cracking sounds, and I keep thinking it's somebody walking on the ice. I mean, like a wolf, not like a person. All right, what do we got? Looks like a corpse uh, of a man. Uh, the only thing he has on him is a tinder plug. How many wolves have I encountered? Like today? Uh, I think f four today. I mean, like a bajillion if you're talking about all the games I've ever played. But I think, yeah, we, we saw one in a bear when we first started. Then we saw one that chased us and attacked us. Then we saw the one at the the dam that chased us, but we got away from. Then we saw the one at the train yard. So however many that is, I think four. And I think this is a relatively low wolf area. But you've always got to be watching out. Like, anytime I see a little black thing on the, the um, at the edge of my vision, like a, see that thing in the middle there next to the rock straight ahead? I'm like, is that moving? Is that a wolf? What's that sound? Is that growling? <clears throat> All right, so what do we got over here? I think... Um, yeah, I think you can go up up in there, and there's stuff. Is this maybe a cave? Actually, I'm not even sure. Let's check this out first. This looks kind of like a cave. Doesn't it? Oh, it's a rope. So these climbing ropes are pretty interesting because it takes a lot of energy to go up. But... You know, it often acts as a shortcut. So if you have the energy, um, it can be worth it. <clears throat> Sometimes it's the only place, only way to get places. All right, so we're just gonna go down the edge of this lake and stop at whatever cabins we see. Get some wood in case we need to make a fire. You can always drop it. Man, we 
we've got a hatchet and a knife. So the only major tool I think we don't have is the saw, like a hacksaw that's oh. used to get metal. Uh, then, of course, there's the weapons, right? So you've got a rifle and a bow and arrow. You can actually make the bow and arrow. But it's not trivial. All right, so this cabin's burned down. What do we got? Anything over here? Anything I can eat, please. I'm, I'm starving over here. Get more crows. Oh, it's passing by. So, with this new hatchet, we can actually break down this picket tail. Seven wood, but it takes an hour and 30 minutes. Alright, I don't see any any uh, cattails. So let's stop by these two. We'll go right to left. Tiny little things. Got to repair the hatchet, really? I didn't notice. That's all, it's only 89%. Oh, you just mean in general? Like... Yeah, the hatchet and the knife both wear down. That's the that's what I keep saying about like the the game is designed to eventually leave you high and dry. I can use this. Although that's a third can opener, so it won't be uh, won't be the can openers that we run out of. Um, paper shelf sewing kit. We got a lot of sewing kits too. Great paper. We don't we really don't need these papers. I, I just pick them up out of habit. Um, tons. It's a little late, but not too late for this cloth. Um, so they they only give 150 calories. <clears throat> but look, 17 of them only weigh 1.8 pounds. So. Can opener with the MVP board. It's, it's actually kind of funny because if you don't have a can opener and you have, you know, a can of beans, you have to break it open, smash it open, and you it, you lose part of the beans. Like I think maybe up to 50 percent. Um, I think if you have a knife, you can open it, but knives are a whole lot more valuable than can openers. And so then you wear out your knife. All right, I think that's it in here. Oh, no. The, the wind has picked up. Five second roll. Yeah, for real. You think you'd be able to just eat it off the ground, but I'll take it. I've got some sardines. That's good. Uh, paper. I need to drop some papers. Nice, nice, nice. Um. Our tiredness is sort of going down. Oh, what's that? Accelerant. Um, This is, I, I don't understand how they have it 
been so annoyed by that that they fixed that they would fix it. You have to keep clicking as you move things. It's absurd. Um, maybe we don't need 12 rocks. I, I kind of maybe picked up too many. All right. Um, so I'm thinking of breaking down the crates, but I think I'm just going to keep going on the lake. We still have enough daylight that I can probably make it. Oh, so this green weather is one of my least favorite. It's so hard to see. I mean, I don't know if it's green, but you know what I mean? Like it looks kind of greenish. But it's a lake, right? How do we get lost on a lake? It's round, more or less. Um, I'll tell you how we get lost. We get lost when the wolf or the bear chases us, or the moose. And we go in some random direction. Looks like we've got another dead thing. Is it animal? Is it man? Damn. A second hatchet. Well, that's unlikely. I'll take it. Oh, shit. A thick wool sweater. So as you've seen, the water affects um, your clothing. <laughs> uh, it would be interesting if you could read it, but the problem is, like, they'd have to get writers to write stuff, and instead of paying people to write the newspaper, I guess I'd rather than pay people to code in new animals or something. But it would be neat. Uh, I, I, it would be neat, maybe a neat way to hint at what happened before. Actually, I probably shouldn't have eaten beef jerky. I think beef jerky is really good for weight versus calories. Um, why did I go to my inventory? We have two really good quality hatchets. That's kind of big people to do that work for free. Actually, you know what, um, Joey, sort of some people kind of did because like that note we read in the cabin, that was written by a backer. So they actually paid money to write this stuff will come in handy. Um, to write content. Is this a new game? Not really, but uh, it's been an early access for a long time. I think it, I think it officially came out maybe Actually, I'm not even sure if it's still if it's actually officially out. So I don't even know. You'll have to you'll have to check. But it's been in early access for a long time. Uh, Nobody needs this anymore. I want to say four years, but it's probably three years. I'm not sure. Uh, man, this place slim pickings, huh? Well, at least we get a lot of cloth. We might make another trip back here to get wood to break down these crates. Oh, tender plug, okay. Um, I guess it just depends. Um, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna do it now. If I can, if I can uh, avoid it, I'm gonna try not to sleep out here and make it our way back. Full release. Okay. Full release is uh, ended last year. They're not done with it. They're they're mostly working on the campaign, the story mode. Here's a here, Joey. This is what I was talking about. Note left behind. There's nothing left. The matches got wet and I'm down to a couple tins of peaches and a can of pop. 
I don't know what to do. I want to go, but where do I go? There's wolves. There's wolves everywhere, scratching at the door, pawing at the windows, waiting, waiting. A dull knife, a rock, a length of rope. It's like one of those jokes you hear about when three guys walk into a bar and the bartender says, hey, you can't bring rope in here. Something about a frayed knot, something like that. Contribute to my back earth. Four, six, seven, five. Thank you, four, six, seven, five. Afraid not. <laughs> Afraid not. Oh, shit. Uh, shit. I don't see anything. Come on, give me something. Throw me a bone. Oh, these fire logs are kind of shitty. You'd think they'd be really good. Uh, but they're really heavy. And don't actually have a whole lot of heat. Didn't even try to make the joke. Yeah, he just mentioned mentioned the joke. Hmm. This will come in handy. Uh, so those driving gloves, although they're not great, they do give you a little bit of leather when you break them down. So I like to pick them up. They're pretty light. Matches. All right. Well, I guess just for the matches, this was a pretty good, pretty good stop. Uh, I don't see anything else though. Oh, is that something? No. Okay, how are you doing? Not bad. Uh, how's our weight actually? Hold on. Yeah. Let's leave the log. And the sneakers. Oh, we didn't put on the 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 the, the, the sweater. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Super warm. Um. Perfect. Walk out the door. Instant wolf. I hope I hope not. I hope not. Uh, I'm trying to think. Do I want these shoes? I think these shoes have leather, but I'm not sure. Alright, we're, we're underweight, but we probably could do with a little nappy nap. This game is actually just a representation of Canada on a normal Wednesday. I like that. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. I've never been. And I don't know anyone who has either. So, as far as I know, Oh my god, see, now you can't see shit. Um, I, I think that there's another cabin if we keep going this way, but we're obviously in danger of getting lost slash not being able to get away, get back. Because if we can't see across the lake, we don't even know which direction to walk in. But... You've been to Canada, wolves almost got you. I half believe you. Oh, speaking of wolves, here's that bear. Um, I think I think we'll be fine, right? There's the cat. You you won't see us. He's cool. He's cool. He's a G. Um, shit, more dead shit. I almost went to Canada. I went pretty far, like, 
20 minutes from the border, but what are they flying over? Is it on this side of the house? Oh, it's behind the house. Shit! It's a fucking hunting rifle! Low quality, but so we probably don't want to shoot it until we repair it. Um, but that is that is worth like the whole trip. That's great. So I'm not a good shot, <laughs> as you, if you've ever seen me play Paladins or TF2. But um, we can use it to shoot wolves. We can use it to shoot deer, and d like one deer has a lot of food. Um, you can use it to shoot bear, and a bear has a lot of food. But unless you unless you hit it like, I think it's it's a crit. Unless you hit it in the head or get some lucky shot, it doesn't. It takes more than one hit. Uh, on a bear. Actually, the same is true for a wolf. If you hit a wolf in the leg or something, it's not gonna. This pack is getting kinda probably heavy. not gonna kill it. But the nice thing about the nice thing. The nice thing about shooting wolves is that they run towards you. So when you shoot them, you almost definitely will shoot them in the head. Um, it's getting dark enough that I can't even see what else might be in this room. But I do know that. Oh my god, Joey. Oh my god. You're killing me. You're killing me, Joey. Um, We're really heavy, so I'm going to put all the rocks down. I'm going to put three of the books down. Shit. Four of the books down. Um, we're still 10 pounds over. So the gun is 8.8 .8 pounds, which doesn't really seem like a lot by itself, but that's a lot when all you can carry is 60 pounds. I'm going to leave the tin opener. That's not even that much weight. Uh, the pun was unbearable. The pun was unbearable, yeah. Even, even I think that's going too far, Joey. Um, I'm going to leave some of the sticks. Shit, it's so heavy. All right. So, uh, eat. I'm going to eat my oh, weight. I get it, Joey, trust me. I totally get it. 60 pounds a lot when all you do all day is make the line animals. That is the truth. Don't I know it? <clears throat> that's, that's that's actually what I do in my day job. Alright. So I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. The goal now is to get home. Um I think it's this way. I I we haven't been to that cabin, and I wanna say maybe there's another cabin up there but so the question is all right i'm doing it the question is should i try to go to this um fishing thing and then we can also see if there's another cabin there's a is it a bear maybe another bear Red metal, ragged fleece, okay. Uh, that's all I see. All right. Um, the bear, the bear was unhappy. But I think, I think it was just warning us. I think it was saying, you best get on. Uh, so I got on. It's not chasing. Whew. 
but it certainly did get the old blood pumping. All right, I don't think we've been to this one either. Just trying to. Oh, that sky's clearing up. Yeah, the game is always winner. Um, they've talked about, you know, obviously people said, oh, wouldn't it be cool if it goes through seasons? And they, they said pretty basically it's not going to happen. Maybe it'll happen in, like, a, the next game or an expansion or something like that. Because part of the story that they're trying to tell is is... That this is essentially post-apocalypse. We're not exactly sure what happened, but it had something to do with... There's a deer again. I, 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 the thought of shooting it entered my head, but I really shouldn't. We're, too, we're overburdened as it is. Um, something to do with electromagnetic stuff, and it destroyed all the... Um, you know, electronics. And I guess this is some kind of a winter because of this phenomena, geological or whatever. Don't start with center of the other plant single player, atmospheric single player game. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of weird how they did it too because Don't Start Together is essentially a different game. And it actually is balanced not just balanced differently, but has different stuff in it. It's kind of weird. Um, it's a different program. It's not like, you know, multiplayer mode. So, I honestly thought we'd get more cattails. I know I'm going on and on about cattails, but... We can only have enough food for like a few days. You can eat them. You can eat them. Um, and I believe in, I think in real life you eat the roots. Um, although someone can fact check me, I guess. But I'm pretty sure you eat the tubers. I always thought that you ate the, the cat, you know, the fluffy part, but maybe you can, I don't know. All right, we made it home with a gun. We're alive. We have a little bit of food. Man, things are. Oh, it's oh, it's a little it's a little dark in here. I don't have a light. Um, <laughs> I don't have a light. Uh. I want to say you go here. Oh, it's a curtain. Okay. So you go here. Should get a lamp. Yeah. You know, I had the, the electricians were coming to install one. Oh, that's the file cabinet. Okay. Um. Oh shit, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you die, you're gonna freak out. There's gonna be like a zombie that pops up. Um, perfect. Wow, what a great day. But, you know, as good as that was, the question is still, yeah, but, how are we going to survive the next day? You can also die of dehydration in your sleep. This 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 uh this person eats and drinks like Homer Simpson.
I think we've got some sodas left. But otherwise, it's just cattails. So there's a couple of scummy strategies that people use. And one is to starve yourself for a few days and, and take the health damage. And then start to eat and regain the health. Um, and I think they tried to make it less viable, but it's still viable. It's totally still viable. Because you basically because you can't get less food than zero. And so it's you save food. But I think it's just so shitty that I don't I don't like to do it. Alright, are we going to wake up before night is over? Zero food should be instant up. I mean, it depends. I, I guess I see where you're coming from. But, like, people can go for 30 days without food, right? So there should be some leeway. Actually, I heard about this guy, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't just mean I heard about it, but I, I read a thing. Like, the, this dude who was like 600 pounds, um, and he essentially didn't eat to lose the weight. He just took vitamins under a doctor's care and just didn't eat until he was like, you know, whatever, 200 pounds. Um, and it was not, it was like way more than 30 days. <clears throat> All right. We need food. The problem with the problem with our gun is that it's it's really low quality. So we need to repair it. But we don't have a way of repairing it. Uh, you, you need a I think it's called a gun cleaning kit. Doesn't sound healthy. It's it's really interesting about weight, you know, because usually when you, let's say someone has a drinking problem, you don't, like if someone really has a drinking problem, you don't just drink less, you just stop drinking. Or if someone has a heroin problem, right, you don't just do less heroin, you just stop doing heroin. The problem is when someone has a food problem, it's really hard to just do less food. Um, so I can kind of see where he's coming from. Stop stop food altogether seems seems a lot easier. <coughs> Alright, let's put some shit away. Um, and then we have to decide where to go. I, I guess down the train track. I s vaguely know of another point of interest. Um, Vaguely. All right, we got all this cool stuff. We've got a shirt, we've got a thing, we've got that thing, this one, that one. There's still, we need another sock. Um, Let's see, let's drop. A couple of those. Maybe put some of these matches away just, just because. I don't think we need more than nine matches. That I, I mean, it's conceivable, but it'd be pretty bad luck. Um, but I do think maybe a couple more tinder blocks. All right, man, what a haul! Two hatchets gun, a knife, um, 
we, we just need a way to repair these. This. See, we have 15 bullets. Um, so that it's not just that um, the gun will destroy itself if you get to zero, which I which I think it will. But it's also that it, it's less accurate. So I'm going to move these to the other thing, even though they kind of make sense there. Um, the gun gets less accurate when it's low quality, so it's going to be hard to hit things. All right, 38 pounds, that means 30 without the gun. Um, let's put some of this away. Scrap metal, feather. Um, how do I keep this? And then is there anything we want to repair? <laughs> Such a creepy face. Um, so we'll start by condition. So 53, 65, we could repair those. Um, actions. Repair. Come on. Okay. Let's do this. Perfect. Uh, <clears throat> I think this will be the last repair. Perfect. And yeah, we, I don't want to repair any, anything else. It's already high enough. So let's put that cloth away. Um, you can use cloth to make some things that are useful, like a basically a lean-to, sort of like a makeshift tent, a snow shelter, I think it's called, um, and bandages. But I'm going to risk it, I think, maybe. This is a terrible idea. There's so many things you have to decide. It's just, at some point, you just have to just do things. I think we have two bandages on us. Okay, and that puts us at 35. That's pretty good. That means our weight without the gun is, is 27, which is pretty, pretty good. So let's try to make it to the next POI. The problem is I don't exactly know where it is. Um, and what are we going to do if we, if we see a wolf? Should we shoot it? I mean, I guess that's better than getting attacked. Uh... So that burns hot, but doesn't burn long. Fur burns long, I guess. But this is lighter. All right, I'm going to take one piece of cedar. Uh, we'll, we'll, pick, we'll pick it up. We'll find some stuff. We're, we're, we'll be good. We'll be good. Oh, it's a little air freshener. All right. So if I don't take the bedroll and we're caught and I can't sleep, then I might die from sleeplessness. If I don't take the storm lantern and it gets dark, I might die from darkness. I, I think we have a little bit more water <coughs> in here. Yeah. 
that's enough. And then I'll take cool refreshing soda. All right, let's see how cold it is. See if all this was uh, wasted. Die from darkness. Uh, get eaten by a Gru. You know, you know about Gru's. All right, the weather is a little bit chilly. I'm gonna try to stay in. Oh, speaking of which. Let's get this ready just in case. It's a pretty cool animation. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, I'm going to try to stay near rocks and stuff so that the wind doesn't get me so much. I think we have to check out and see what this dead corpse is. I guess dead corpse is a bit repetitive. Where do the gloves go? That's a good question. Am I not wearing them? I swear not. That's funny. Good call. It's just a bad, uh, bad graphic, I guess. So I'm going to do the safest thing and follow the tracks, because that way I can't get lost. And then I think you just hang a right somewhere at a, at a point, and you get to a place then. There's a lot of stuff. This is just one map. This is the map that I know the best. I, I want to say there's something like seven maps now. Um, they're pretty big. With all sorts of different stuff, there's a forge in a couple of them where you can make uh, uh, you can make arrowheads and you can make um, knives like a makeshift knife. So we'll check out the the tunnel up here. I'm not sure if you can go through it. I, oh. <laughs> it's so it's like adrenaline rush and it's so strange because if we'd played paladins or something and somebody ran at me it wouldn't be scary at all but in this game it's so terrifying <clears throat> okay. First, let's reload. <laughs> so, I think we want to um, cut it up. Ten pounds of meat. This kind of changes things. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. Is what we're gonna do. Let's um, let's find a little bit more wood. See, this is why I was thinking maybe I should bring a little wood on me just in case. I thought I'd, I thought it'd be wood around. So we're gonna get some wood. We're gonna make a fire and we're gonna chop them up. If I chopped them up like without a fire, we'd freeze to death. So, let's see if we can't. Another knife! Jesus Christ, we're so lucky. Sometimes there's coal over here, I think. Because I think the train was meant to haul coal. Oh! 
It's I think it's just if you if you miss, you know that it's gonna maul you, you know? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't go through here. So that, that opens to a new map if you go through here. Um, but I, I just, all I want is wood. All the other clowns thought you was a joke. Now look at you, you got all the knives. Um, my... My go-to trick at parties is balloon knives. Uh, come on, come on. Give me some fucking wood. There's trees everywhere. How is there no wood here? Okay. Okay, the game heard me. Gave me a stick. Um... 45 minutes? Is that, is that dangerous? Yeah. Oh, I'll be fine. Come on, just a little, just a little more. I don't want to run out halfway through. I'd like to cook some of it, too. Uh. Alright, that's it. That's, I'm going to go with this. All right, so now we just have to find the wolf again, which should be right off the tracks. Uh, you know the song, uh, Peanut, Peanut sitting on a railroad track, his heart was all fluttered. Round the bend came number 10. Toot toot, peanut butter. Maybe that's a poem, not a song. Uh, but either way, it's pretty good. All right, here's the here's the the thing we're worrying about now is the wind picking up and blowing out our fire. So matches. Um, accelerant makes it a hundred percent chance. I'm going to do accelerant. All right. Um, we're going to put in reclaimed wood first. Fir wood. All right. So fires also scare off predators. So if there's another wolf, oh, it's already 20% frozen. If there's any other wolves in the area, they will. Um, I think. I think they kind of gather around it and maybe eventually wander off. Um, all right. Is there anything we can do while this? While this melts, I'm a Drogos. Why, wait, why am I in Dracos? Because I'm burning things? I, I don't see any wood. And it's just, I kind of hate standing around with not being able to do anything. There we go. While we're wetting that thing, waiting for that thing to freeze. I mean, uh, oh, accelerant. Oh, I never would have figured that out. Um, trusty rifle never failed us yet. I, I guess that's technically true. Let's see what the condition on the rifle is now. 30. So we lost, I think, 3%. Did you see the, the wolf battle, Delvina? Um, I kind of wish you could make less than 0.2 gallons. 
Uh-oh. Alright, this is done. So, how much how much time is it gonna to take to get this meat off? Oh, it's plenty of time. 38 minutes with the knife, knoif. An hour and eleven with the hatchet. So let's get um Just to be safe, put some sticks on. Let's get all the meat with the knife. You catch the VOD here. Um, this one wasn't as exciting because we actually won. Alright, we get more gut and we get this time wolf hide. So you can only, oh no, 50 minutes with the knife. Iron 25 with the hatchet. All right. And also in the tundra. I, I don't know. So I think it actually comes from... Um, it's the old English way of saying knife is knife. All right, we're going to cook a little bit of this and just eat eat some of our spoils because it'll cut down on the weight. And also, hey, victory, right? Jesus Christ. The crows are going crazy. Where is food? Seven hundred calories a steak, baby. Um... All right, let's put some sticks. Let's finish off the boiling. It's probably not a great use of our time, but just look like a wolf, huh? We actually, I think it takes three pelts, maybe two pelts to make. I think it's three pelts to make a jacket. Uh... I'm gonna cook one of these just because we have a fire. It doesn't take long. Oh god, shit, do you hear that? Okay, so it gets close to the fire and then it freaked out. Um I I hope he goes away and doesn't come back. Wolf jacket sounds awesome. It's worth doing that. I'd love to. I'd love to do it. It's very warm. Um. Normally, when you have a lot of meat, you don't want to cook it all at once because uh, it lasts longer if you leave it out in the snow and then and then cook the rest um, another time. But we're gonna go through this in like three days, I think, so I don't think there's any sense in um, eh. Man, that was exciting. All right. So we have 120 minutes of fire. I could cook the rest of this, this tea, I think I will. Um, we're not going to get lost with follow the train track. Follow the train track back. And I'm pretty sure that making this tea actually levels up your cooking skill. I'm glad that wolf left and didn't come back. Uh, so there's a wolf jacket, there are deer pants, there's rabbit gloves, um, 
there's a moose bag so you can actually carry more which is pretty cool it's not much I think it's like six pounds but it's six pounds is kind of great you know all right So I'm going to eat, I'm going to drink, and then we're going to hightail it back up. And I'm overweight, but just barely. Fucking shit. Where is it? God damn it. <laughs> Why? Why do we have another one? Okay. Well, here's our second skin. Thank you, Delvina. Wait, why did I have to put two bullets in? Um... Okay, like well, I don't know what else to do other than to, we're not going to waste another wolf pelt, so, I mean another, we're not going to waste a wolf pelt, I'm going to make another fire, and we're going to do the same thing with this one, and then we're going to hightail it home. The, the problem is that. now that uh, I'm tired, and she, her health is going to start degrading. And her max capacity is going down already. So it's, it's, we're going to be really slow. Oh, shit. Why didn't that work? These wolves. These wolves, man. This is this is only hard mode. Can you imagine what it's like on uber hard mode? Hey, bad gamer. We've killed two wolves now. Um, both with a rifle. It's not like I uh, fought them off with my bare hands. Uh, and, and just like before, we run the risk of... We run the risk of the wind blowing this out. Do we want the hide or the, the meat first? I think we want the meat first. Oh, shit. So... I'm getting the hide. I'm leaving the gut. We're coming home. Oh, my God. All right. All right. So that's that. That's that. Um, the gut is just going to stay. Oh, shit. This is really bad. So you may have noticed that light was turned on. All right. Things are getting kind of crazy. See the sky? It's a beautiful aurora borealis or whatever the fuck. That makes all the electrical stuff go crazy. But even worse, it makes the wolves more aggressive. So, um, I lay down right here. <laughs> so we might die on the way back. And I, don't let me miss it. Um, I mean, it's it's so pretty, you know, but. The, the wolves could be anywhere. I think this is it. But I can't run anymore. I'm too... Uh... Isn't it fucking creepy? The 
symbol at the top means we smell. Because of the meat. <sighs> Alright, we made it home. Uh, there's a couple things I need to do before I can relax. One is I'm gonna put this meat in the chest, and then I'm gonna. I need to go and put the other meat. Shit, how do you even. I, I'm wanting to put this meat outside. So we'll cook that when we get hungry. We'll just leave it right there. Um, I, I think it lasts longer in the snow. Okay. Um, not the Ulfies. How many times did I die so far? I have died zero times during stream. Uh, not on the beautiful Aurora Berrios, whatever the fuck. I'm glad we didn't see any wolves. I'm really glad we didn't see any wolves. Apparently they have this green sheen to them, and they're like super powerful. I've, I've never been outside during an Aurora, so that was my first time. That was my first Aurora. Um, we smell because of the meat, sure, yeah. This was you at Coney Island last Friday. Uh, smelling bad or carrying meat? Which which one, Belvin? Um, okay, all right, now we have to drop the wolf hide to let it cure. Oh, freezing, oh, that makes sense. And then we'll drop that the water was cold. Yeah, I mean, it's winter, so I guess that makes sense. Um, holy shit, that was exciting and horrifying all at once. Let's go for, let's go for a little sleep. So isn't this weird with the lights kind of, I mean, I, Honestly, I wish we had lights all the time, but it's really weird. Um, it was 90 last Friday. Yeah, it's true, but it was so cold two two days ago that I had to put pants on. Like, that that's pretty cold. Oh, my God. I can't believe we did it. We triumphed over the wolves with our shoddy gun. Now, I think for, for people who play this game seriously, shooting wolves with a gun isn't even like a good thing because it's you waste bullets. And bullets are very short supply. Oh shit. Um, yeah, bullets are super short supply in this game. Maybe you get 10 in the game, maybe you get 20, but um. Whew. Oh. Oh, I don't have any food. I put all of it in the... Uh, TMI? I mean, instead of shorts, bad gamer. I mean, instead of shorts. Actually, I was thinking of having... I was thinking of having a stream where I would, I would say in the title, you know, like, um, uh, pantsless stream. And, but it, you know, it wouldn't be me not wearing any pants. It would be the audience. It would be the, the, the chatters. Um, and that way Twitch wouldn't take me down, right? Or you could make it a pantsless stream. It's a pantsless stream now, you wouldn't know. Like, every stream I've ever done is pantless, so what are you going to do about it? All right, let's take our hard-earned wolf meat and our water, and let's eat the shit out of this stuff. Oh, it feels, success feels so good. 
I shave my beard, get a lot of viewers on first glance. What beard? And what are you talking about on first glance? Thousands of viewers, pant pantsless stream, get me thousands of viewers. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. The stream. Oh, oh, you're just saying I look like a girl. Oh, Delphina. Get out of here with your trolling. I've had enough of you girl hair trolls. Jesus Christ. You're the worst. Literally, the only kind of troll I've had has been the troll saying, Your hair makes you look like a girl. <laughs> Um, uh, and now I know Delvina was behind them all. So, I sure am glad we brought that gun. That turned out to be a really good idea. You're, you're, you're just trying to troll me. Why are you so mean to me? Where do I keep getting the milk jug from? I, so, I used to think the same thing, Lurker, and, and I thought, like, why not, why not have to manage the, the water? So, here, let me show you what happens when you drop some water. It drops in little water bottles. And I thought, well, maybe you should have to manage those bottles. I think it would be really annoying to, to have to manage bottles as a resource. The game's bad enough as it is. Because people said it used to your advantage. I don't I don't think the strategy for success is to trick people into watching the stream. That's and I I know that some people some people do. Which is the clickbait titles and giveaways and whatnot. But that's just that's not my stuff. That's not my stuff. You can come and watch my stream if you think I'm sexy. Otherwise, why else would you watch my stream? You know what I'm saying? That's why all of you are watching the stream. <laughs> oh, God. But not because of clickbait titles. He's clowning his bottles instead of blood. Yeah, he pulls them out of nowhere. All right. I think I'm going to finish putting stuff away, and I think I'm going to call it a wrap for tonight. It's all the excitement I, I can take. We need to we need to finish our little journey next time and make it to that next cabin, at, which I think is called the Trapper's Lodge or something. And, <clears throat> and, and find a way to repair this hunting rifle. That's our present game present. Well, yeah, on 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 the political note. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. Anyway, thank you all. This has been a, way more fun than I thought because I knew this game is really frustrating and hard, but it turned it turned out really well. I'm I'm really it was really fun to to get attacked by wolves and then to kill wolves with you all, so um, we'll, we'll definitely play this again, maybe even tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to call it. Thank you for stopping by. And, uh, if you, if you haven't, subscribe, f I mean, uh, follow, and then you'll know when I'm streaming. So have a nice night, everybody.